Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to deep dive into the first in, first out, or otherwise known as FIFO, um, method of accounting for inventory cost flows. So first in, first out, or as I said, FIFO, is a cost flow where you make an assumption about how your inventory is moving through your system. So you're going to lump all of your inventory together. So you're just going to, you're not going to individually track it. You're just going to say, hey, I have, say, four gallons of milk. I'm just going to throw those four gallons on the shelf. They all have the same barcode. I'm not worried about which ones I bought earlier, which ones I bought later, or tracking them individually for their costs. Instead, what you're going to do is when something sells, you are going to assume that it was the first one bought. So your cost of goods sold will be based on the value of whatever you yourself bought first prior to then selling it. Now, counterpoint to that is whatever's left over in your ending inventory balance that's going to go on your balance sheet, well, that is going to be assumed to be the value of the most recent items you purchased, right? Because you assume the first item sold, that means the later items are left. Now, what's the pros and cons of doing something like this? Well, the benefit is this is a very practical way to account for your inventory when you work in a business where selling older goods first is very common. Something like a grocery store where you expect to try to sell the older products before they go bad, before you sell the newer products which have a longer uh, shelf life. However, there's a shortcoming, and that is this is an assumption. This does not reflect the reality of what actually did sell. You might be assuming the first, let's again, four gallons of milk, you might be assuming the first gallon of milk sold, but maybe it was really the second, or maybe it was the third. You don't know, nor do you care. The fact is you're assuming that the first one that you bought is the first one that sells, and that assumption may deviate from reality. Therefore, COGS and ending inventory may not be accurate. All right, let's see this in an example. Flyer Corps purchases inventory on June 1st, June 2nd, June 11th, and June 21st for these respective prices. On June 25th, Flyer Corps sells the inventory purchased on June 2nd and June 11th. What is Firecore's cost of goods sold, and what is their ending inventory balance using the first-in, first-out method? Now, I gave you enough information here that you know that what really sold were these two pieces of inventory here, the one worth $1,200 and the one worth $900, because that was the June 2nd and the June 11th, and I told you that that's what sold. If the company was using a specific identification system, it would grab that and say, this is what we sold. But with a company using first in, first out, it is assumed that the June 1st and June 2nd inventory, the earliest stuff you bought, or the 800 and 1200, it's assumed that that's the ones that were sold. So the cost of goods sold is $2,000. When we talk about what's left, because we're assuming June 1 and June 2nd sold, that means June 11th and June 21st are left, which are worth 900 and 600 for an ending balance of 1500 Now notice, this is not the truth, right? We reported COGS of 2000, but we know, given the information of the problem, that really COGS should have been the 1200 and the 900 for a total of 2100 right it's a little off we know that the ending balance should have been 800 plus 600 for 1400 it's a little off that's the problem that's the negative to doing an assumption like first in first out however this is a lot more practical than trying to track every single item individually so it's considered a worthy trade-off of, okay, we lose a little bit of accuracy, but it's feasible for companies to do it. It would be a lot more costly for some companies to try to track every single item individually. All right, that's it for first in, first out. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you join me for another video.